Hi everybody, it's Beth here from Artbase and today I'm going to show you how to draw and paint this very beautiful, um, colourful eagle. Okay, so we're going to need quite a lot of different coloured paints. Um, I'm going to, we're going to use purples, blue, red, orange, um, yellow and even maybe a little bit of green. And then also, um, we'll also need a little bit of white and a bit of black for the eye. Okay, so I'm going to be using um, poster paints today. This is actually done in watercolours, but um, we can do it in poster paints and it will look equally as good. Um, it might be a, a slightly simplified version of this, but um, by the end of it, hopefully you'll have an amazing colourful eagle. So let's get started. I will just zoom you in a little bit so here we go and uh, i'll move this out of the way so to start with we'll sketch our lovely eagle out um, and we'll start with the beak so we're going to pop him sort of just over halfway up the page so we need our paper portraits and i'm going to just put the beak in so if you think about our halfway line um, we'll start just on the left hand side, about halfway up the page. And we're going to do the top of the beak. So a big curve line. So we start here and it comes up and over, up. So we've got this curve line that um, looks a little bit like that. And then we'll, We'll do the top section of the beak. So we're going to come up, create a little point, and then we're going to curve it round and bring it under that line there. So we've got, this is the top section of the beak. And then the bottom section, we're going to come up from this little point, just a little bit, so just a little of the way up. And then this line, just comes underneath like that okay so that's what we're trying to get so that basic shape um, and this line just comes in a little bit further you can see from this line here okay so once you've got that basic shape remember do your little uh, sketchy light lines to start with and then it might take a couple of attempts but um but if you've if you've done it really lightly then you should be able to rub it out very easily so the top of his head, so we're going to come up from the, the top of his beak here and we're going to do a line that comes up and over towards the other side of the paper. So it's quite a big distance, isn't it? So, um, so don't do it too small. Try and take that line over, right over to, towards the other side of the, the paper. Okay, so a big arch like that. And then we will continue it down and out a little bit towards the edge of the page. And we'll probably leave it like that. We're just going to focus on the head today. So once we've done that side, um, we'll do the front of our eagle. So if we think about the distance along this here, I'm just going to start a little line level with the top of the beat there and about halfway along this edge here. And it's going to come in a little bit. And then it's going to curve round and then it's going to come back out and down. So we've got the top of his head like that. So it doesn't matter if your line's a little bit longer, a little bit shorter, it's just roughly that kind of shape. So that's the basic shape that we're going to work with. And then the last little bit of drawing before we start our painting is his eye. So probably about halfway between the top of his beak and the bottom of his beak. We'll pop a little dot just here. Okay, so that's where we're going to draw our eye. So we want to do a nice big curved line, like a rainbow. And then we'll one underneath it. So now we've got like a lemon shape or a rugby ball shape. And then inside that, we're going to put our pencil on the top line and a curve that comes all the way down to touch the bottom line. 
and then we'll take it back up the other side. So it's like a circle sitting inside that rugby shape. And then we'll pop a little circle inside. So we've got his eye drawn in. Okay. So now we've done that. And um, the only other little bit of drawing is on his beak, last little bit. And we're just going to about halfway between the top and the bottom of that top section. Just a little curved line. And then I'm just going to do a little line that comes down each side and underneath it. Okay. And then that's it, that's, we're going to leave it there, okay? And the rest we're going to paint. So we'll start off by painting the beak. So you, we'll use quite, we'll work with quite small brushes today. If you've got a small brush and that's brilliant, um, but, but it will be fine, whatever brush you've got, just remember to use um, the tip of the brush, so the point. So don't ever press hard with your brush and just use the tip and then you can get those nice details. So I'm going to just paint the beak white, first of all. So the top of the beak white, and then we're just going to um, paint the bottom of the beak white. So a little white base, okay. So you can't see it at the moment on the painting. I've actually put a little bit of yellow on that as well. So a little bit of white, first of all, and then we make a, a gray with our paints. So I've got my paints here. I'm going to make a gray. So I take a little bit of white, not a lot. We hardly need any gray. So just a tiny bit of white and a little dash, little pinprick of black to make a gray. And then with that gray, we're just going to paint the tip of his beak with that pale, pale gray just the tip and the tip of the bottom bit, just a little bit. And then we will wipe our brush, get all that gray off and then go back to our white and use a little bit of white to help blend it in, okay? So don't, so the key is don't use too much gray, just a tiny, tiny little bit. And then we'll just blend that in all the way across the beak. So it's quite a light gray. And then what I want to do, I want to just dip my brush into a tiny little bit of yellow. And we're just going to blend a little bit of yellow and try and do this whilst your paint is still wet. And we're just going to blend a tiny little bit of yellow over the top. And the key to blending, this is really important everybody, is just very small, little bits of paint on your brush. Don't scoop up lots and lots of paint because then that will make it really tricky for you to blend your brush, blend, blend your paint with your brush. Okay, so once you've done that, we're also then going to dip into a tiny little bit of orange next. And I want to just pop a little bit, a little strip of orange just along the top of that bottom section and then wipe all the paint off your brush and then you can just help blend it in just a little bit. And again, if you've used a tiny little bit of paint, then that will work really well. If you put lots on, it will, it will make it difficult for you. And then this little bit here, we're just going to paint yellow. And again, you can add the tiniest little bit of orange and just add it to the top like that. Okay, so once you've done that, um, your beak, we could maybe add a little bit of yellow as well, just on the tip of our brush there. So just using what we've got on our brush already. So you don't need to add any more, just use what you've got on your brush already. So there we go, there's your beak done. So that's um, probably one of the trickiest bits. So once you've done that, we'll start painting the rest of our lovely eagle. So we'll start off by um, working around the eagle. So we'll start off with blue, first of all. So I've got any shade of blue will be fine. Mine's quite a light blue. Um, but 
if you've got a darker blue, that's fine as well. So I'm going to do a light blue just on the top of his head like that. And just with our brush strokes, let's just do some little brush strokes. So you can see I'm going over my pencil line a little bit just to make him look a bit feathery and a bit fluffy. So we're going to pop some blue there. And then we're going to also pop a little bit of blue down the front of his body. Just working down and a little bit over the edge to make him look a bit feathery. Like that. And then any area around here, we're just going to add a few little blue feathers in a little area there. So I'm not painting just a blob, I'm trying to just do little feathery brush strokes. And then we'll just do a few little fluffy feathers just around the edge of his head, just there, okay? And then last little bit of blue, let's just pop a little bit of blue just down here. Okay, so just a few little bits just coming down the body like that. Okay, and yours doesn't have to be exactly the same as mine, just those areas. So we're just adding in some little bits of blue, dotting them about. So there's no right or wrong, everybody. So don't worry if it's not exactly the same. We're just, um, just adding a bit of blue into his body. So once we've done that, we will now need a purple. So we've got a purple. If you haven't got a purple, you can make purple with red and blue or pink and blue. And we're going to just work over the top of the eye and we're going to do like little feathery brush strokes again. And this is the key to getting this nice feathery effect on our eagle. So little feathery brush strokes working around the eye and then up into our blue a little bit and then right up to the top of his head like that and keep going around his eye and then we're going to go down to that blue that we did under his beak and keep lots of little brush strokes and that is the key everybody so really don't rush it and really try hard little bits of paint on the tip of your brush just working down you can see i'm just going up and down with my brush strokes now and i'm just thinking of the direction the feathers, they'd be growing down the eagle, wouldn't they? So that's what I'm trying to do with my brush strokes is show the direction of his feathers. So we've done purple all the way down the front in this area here. So once you've done your purple, um, you can just give your brush a little wipe. You don't need to wash it. And then we're going to add a little bit of red next. So we're going to carry on with a little bit of red and again just going very carefully with my brush strokes and again trying to show what could be feathers so keep my brush strokes very light and feathery so i've done a little section there and then we're going to do a little a few coming down the head on the edge of the head and maybe a couple into that blue so you can do a few over the top of the blue. We could flick a couple up, give them a little bit of a flick. And then I'm just going to do a couple over the top of the purple above his eye. Just a few little dabs in my brush over the top of the eye. And then we'll do a little bit down here as well. So I'm working doing a few over the top of the purple, and then we're coming down the body. Okay, so a few into that purple, and then a few coming down the body. And it doesn't have to be a perfect straight line, everybody. Okay, so you can just keep it a little bit wibbly wobbly. 
Okay. So we're doing a few just down in this area here. And again, there's no right or wrong. Okay, so you can work over that blue a little bit and into that purple a little bit. Just an area of red feathers just coming down that section of the body. Okay. So once you've done that, um, again, give your brush a little gentle wipe. You don't need to wash it unless you've still got purple on your brush. If you've still got purple on your brush, I would give it a little wash because the next color is orange. So again, with the orange, we're going to add a few little orange feathers just above that red. Okay. And then where we did the red, under his eye here, we're going to do a few little orange feathers over the top of the red. Don't completely cover that red though, it's just a few, scatter them about and then a few coming down and you can space them out a little bit so you can see a little bit of white like that. And then we'll also do a few little flicky feathers just on the edge as well, like that. And then just maybe dab a, a few little ones down there, but I've kept them quite, I haven't done very many. We've kept them quite well spaced as well. Okay, so he's starting to look really fluffy now. Um, so the next color is going to be yellow. So I'm going to dip my brush straight into the yellow again. I'm not washing my brush mm. and I'm going to do some little fluffy feathers on his, the top of his head. We're going to take that yellow and we've got a little bit of space here. So we're going to now use our yellow to fill this space here. Okay. So we're going to work down the body and you can add a little bit of yellow into your orange. So if you've got a few little gaps where you did your orange, you can work that yellow over the top and fill some of those gaps and you you might end up blending the yellow in with the orange a little bit and that will look really nice because you'll get sort of different shades of yellow and orange then so taking that yellow all the way down you can get a little bit longer with your brush strokes as well as you come down the body so we'll take some yellow out the back okay and also where we've got this red, if you've got any little areas, you can dot a little bit of yellow in some spaces just in your red as well, if you wanted to. So you've got a little hint of yellow just there. So once you've done that, we go back to the eye. So we're keeping the, um, the yellow on our brush and we're just going to paint really carefully don't press hard with your brush. You're going to paint that big circle yellow, okay? If you accidentally paint over the little circle in the middle, that's fine, don't worry, because we'll paint over that with a little bit of black. Um, so we'll leave that for a minute. Give your brush a little wipe. If you've still got orange on your brush, maybe give it a little wash as well. But if you've just got yellow, then that's fine. Just give it a gentle wipe. And we're going to go to our green next. Now it's really important that we don't mix the green with the orange because it might go a little bit yucky. So I'm just going to add in some of the yellow sections a few little green feathers, just not lots, just a few, just scattering them about in the yellow area. So we'll do a little bit there and a little bit, if you've got a little bit of a yellow area up here we can add a bit there and we can also add a little bit of green maybe in some of the blues as well okay and I wouldn't suggest if you if your purple's still wet I wouldn't put any green on your purple but if it's dried you could just dot a little bit about on your purple but again not too much okay so we are nearly there everybody and um, the last little bit um, is adding a bit of black and then doing some lovely splats. Now with your black you have to be really really careful and it might be something that you want to do 
with a black pen when your painting is really, really dry. So you could use a black felt tip or a black, any black ink pen to do this, or even a, a black pencil crayon. Uh, but if you're feeling brave and you've, and you've got a very small brush and you're able to use a bit of paint, then you just need to get a little bit of black on the tip of your brush and just really carefully, just sort of dabbing with your brush, just paint that middle circle in your eye. And I've also um, left a little white shine, which is quite tricky to do. So what you can do is, if it's a bit tricky to do that, you can always put a little blob of white paint over the top. So just get a little blob of white and just blob it over the top to get your white shine back in your eye. Um, and then what we'll do, we'll pick up our pencil and I want us to just get our pencil and just work over the beak a little bit. So the outline of the beak that we first drew, we're just going to work over that outline just to help bring our beak back out. And you can, if you've painted over that little bit there, you can bring that back out with your pencil. And then also with your pencil, we can use it to just go over the outline of that big circle and work around our eye a little bit and just make that eye stand out a little bit more. Okay, and also with your pencil, you can also just work over the edge, just add a few more little feathers just to fluff up the outline and add a few little pencil feathers in your eagle as well. Just another little layer of lovely detail. Okay, so I think that looks amazing. Um, and then as an finishing touch and this is optional so you don't have to do this um, but maybe with the help of a grown-up you could add a few little splats on so to add your splats you get a little bit of water in a pot um, not a lot about a teaspoon of water in a pot and then choose what color you want to do your splats so I've gone quite dark with my splats and I've, I've gone with sort of some dark blues and actually a little bit of black as well. So I'm going to do a dark blue to start with. So I've mixed um, equal parts of water and paint to make a watery paint solution. And then when you're doing your splats, we have to be super, super careful, don't we? So we hold our paper flat and, and we make sure we are away from any screens so i'm just going to move you away just a little bit and then with one finger you tap so you hold your brush really close to your paper to control where you're putting your splats and then you can just add a few little splats around your painting now my painting is upright, so mine might drip a little bit. Actually, I quite like the drips as well. Um, but just very carefully, and I wouldn't go too crackers. Sometimes you can get a bit carried away. But just one finger and add your lovely splats in. Okay, so you can maybe do them in blue. You can pick out whatever colours you want for your splats, so that's up to you and your choice. But once you've done your splats, then you are finished and hopefully you will have one amazing colourful eagle. <laughs>